Hi, I'm Jean Edelman. Welcome to my podcast. Each week we'll explore a word that I hope gives us perspective and provides an opportunity to pause and check in with ourselves. For decades, I've been a student of the healing arts, Reiki, traditional Chinese medicine, homeopathy, acupuncture, plant-based and macrobiotic cooking. Join me on this journey and hear my word of the week. Great to be with you this week. This week, I want to remind all of us that we are never alone. Asthma, pretty scary stuff. As I started my new year, an episode that turned into bronchitis put me in the hospital for five days. Never in my life have I had such a flare up. And there was a moment when I realized I couldn't breathe, but then I just kind of surrendered 911 was on the way, and I remembered that I am never alone. I had my team. What team, you may say? Well, I knew the EMT and the paramedics were on their way. I knew that there were going to be some great docs and nurses at the hospital. But no, I'm talking about my team of angels. We each have a team of angels. Our angels, our guides, our friends and family that have passed on. Whether we're aware of it or not, they're constantly watching over us and they're here to support us, and especially at a time of distress. I know a lot of us aren't even aware of this. There's so much struggle today with feeling separated and alone, but I'm asking you that if you ever feel this way, just to take a moment to go inward and invite in your angels, your guides, maybe someone that's passed on, Ask them to come and sit with you. Breathe deep, invite them in, envision them sitting and holding your hand. This is what I did when I was sitting, waiting for the emergency guys to show up. I truly had no fear and I felt totally supported and surrendered to those that were on the other side there to hold my hand. You can envision them holding your hand, invite them in. They're waiting to support us and be there for us every day. So this is what I did while I was being admitted and going through tests and just sitting there on oxygen, grateful to be able to breathe by people I didn't know. But I also knew that there was a team around, their hand on my shoulder, just there to support me. They were right by my side. In this time of struggle and, and, and mental struggle and mental health, and it's really, really time to open up the awareness of this, to sit quietly and say, I invite in my guides, I invite in my angels, I invite in so-and-so that's passed on. Come sit with me quietly for a few moments. When you get up, notice and be aware. Maybe you feel a little bit lighter. Maybe that that depression or that angst that you were feeling, maybe that's gone away. Life is about our inner journey. And when the external life gets so hard on us and keeps pushing on us, or when we have health events, these are the times that we need to go in and invite in our spirit family. They will smother us in love. They will let us know that we are not alone. When I was in the hospital and Rick had gone home for the night and all the nurses were busy doing what they're doing, you know, that's when it's kind of scary. And that's when I, I felt my dad's hand on my shoulder. They're around, they're there for us. They're there to support us. So my word of the week is invite. The I is for inner. This is where we live with our inner knowing, our intuition. When we're hurt, when we know trauma, when we feel alone and separated, this is where we need to shine the light to bring in comfort and our invisible spirit support. They are there waiting. The end is for need. We need others and we need our community and we need to feel safe and to be able to talk about our feelings. And so the action item is to find a place where we can share what we're going through. 
The V is for vision because we can set intentions and that opens up the path to a vision of what we want in our life. When we sit and we chat with our team of angels or our spirit family that's crossed over, they'll help us find that path. The I is to ignite a connection, a union that is unconditional love. When life is hard and we don't feel loved or we don't feel appreciated or we don't feel seen, when we invite in our angels and our spirit family, there is unconditional love and their sole purpose is to support us. And once we can let down the barriers and we can connect, we'll never go back. We'll always want to feel connected and we'll never ever feel alone. And the T is for tender, to be tender with ourselves. Our emotions can get so raw and we need to find a quiet place for ourselves just to give ourselves a hug and let ourselves know that we'll be okay and we're not alone. And the E is to elevate. When we do feel disconnected, this is time to tune in and tune out the noise. We can pretend we're floating on the clouds and our angels or guides want us to know they're around and they will elevate our mood and help us feel a joyful life and live a joyful life. I know this may sound strange to all of you, but if you can just let down the barriers and you can just listen and feel those on the other side that want to support and love you, it will be a wonderful day. Have a great week, everyone.